prologue. What we see on our beaches is anything but natural. I speak of logs. But you're not anti-log. Absolutely not. So <laughs> I, I'm just pro-beach. <laughs> Dr. Thomas Reimkin has spent a lifetime studying what comes in and what goes on along our coastline. A more sure-footed 79-year-old you'll never meet. Are you sure you're 79? Dr. Reimkin has just published a study on the effect drift logs have on intertidal ecosystems. They wash on and then they wash off the next month and they wash on. So if we look behind us here, most of these rocks would have been covered with barnacles here 50 to 100 years ago. You might ask yourself, why should I care about an absence of barnacles? You might not care, but there is a bigger context here, right, of biodiversity on our coast. Essentially, the bird's boundless buffet of barnacles is barren because of the log's abrasive effects on the rocks, especially during storms. Consequences move up the food chain. The deep dive found about 60% of these logs escape from booms. At least 60% of the logs on these beaches have saw cuts on them. About 20% arrive naturally, and you can tell because Mother Nature doesn't make clean cuts. The other 20% are ambiguous. On this day, on this beach, no one seemed surprised by this but me. And they, they just travel through the ocean. You knew this. I did. Pulling logs off BC beaches was the backdrop for the TV show The Beachcombers. Clearly, I didn't watch it. The whole scene conjures another Canadian TV relic for me. As these logs are twirling down and down white waters, is it important to learn to step lightly? Hmm. You'd have to rephrase that. I don't quite understand that statement, so. Never mind. It's down and down. The log driver's waltz is a crude, cartoonish example, but there's no exact science when it comes to transporting logs down the coast. Although Rymkin says practices have improved. At the risk of another CanCon TV reference, so if you wanna join me, maybe tomorrow I want to settle down. <laughs> the littlest hobo can howl all he wants, but these logs will keep pounding these rocks. To lessen the impact might require a change in policy down the line. Maybe there's a, a simple way of making these booms much safer. So there's much to learn to make room for a natural comeback.